Hi, Leo. This is literally like my fourth time starting over your video because my cat was being... Do you hear him? He's, I don't know why he's getting on my nerves this morning. Oh, so many distractions. Anyway, welcome to my channel. I hope y'all are doing good. Um, yeah, welcome to my channel, The Madonna Empress. My name is Shapree, and thanks for being here. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe when the message hits. Show me the energy that is currently crowning Leo. Show me the energy that is currently crowning Leo. Show me the energy that is currently crowning Leo. Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign or just be heavily in your head or in your head about an air sign. This could be someone from the past. A soulmate energy, past love. <clears throat> but what I do see is that there's a lot of self-limiting beliefs. Um... A lot of this inner critic, a lot of you telling yourself maybe what you can't accomplish. But on the flip side, it looks like you're coming out of this mentality. Also, Leo, it looks like you're freeing yourself, you're accepting yourself, and you're open to new perspectives. And it's making you ambitious. It's making you defend like your personal beliefs and defend, uh, I don't want to say yourself, but defend your let's say quote unquote shortcomings like whatever self-limiting beliefs you had now you're like but i was put there because and it's not to say that you're going to stay in a victim mentality right it's just acknowledging that everything is cause and effect so the only reason why i did this is because i was put in a situation where i felt like that was my only option or whether that be a situation that you you felt like it was your only option because you're closed-minded but you're accepting that like i was closed-minded i did it but i i didn't know any better now i know better so it's almost like you're also gonna check yourself right like it's putting you in a situation where if you can acknowledge where you went wrong in the past and let go of it and free yourself of these of the of the inner critic it's almost like moving forward now you just gonna make sure that you crush your t's and dot your eyes like i'm never doing that dumb shit again like you understand what i'm saying that's the energy that i'm getting and i feel like you're driven to succeed and you're really ambitious right now or really driven right now to take over not take over but to take a authority with yourself let's clarify for leo let's clarify this ace of swords in reverse eight of swords my bad let's clarify this eight of swords in reverse for leo why is this eight of swords reversed for leo clarify the eight of swords in reverse for leo ace of cups Love, a new opportunity. Aries had the Ace of Cups in their reading too. You can have Aries in your chart. Or dealing with an Aries. So you could have been afraid about, about a certain love situation. About going towards a love situation. You may have felt like you weren't good enough for this opportunity. What else with the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Cups? What else with the Eight of Swords? The Ten of Wands. Yeah, it looks like you're dropping all of your burdens. It looks like you're leaving behind some negative shit, period. I, I, like, I don't want to say something negative, something that was burning you. I think it's your own shit, your own negative self-talk. You're leaving it all behind. I feel like you've come to a place where, once again, you're accepting who you are and what the fuck you're made of and all of your experiences. And now you're ready to move out of being the victim. Now you're ready to say, okay, it's time for a new perspective. It's time for something new. It's time for me to try something new. And you have to remember, Leo, even though you are a fire sign, you're still a fixed sign. So... 
you're very constricted and restricted with yourself as well, especially when it comes to your image, especially when it comes to your your things that deal with your ego. Like you're not going to put yourself out there because you live in your ego. And I'm not judging you. I'm just saying that that's the le that's what Leos do. They live that that's your trait is your ego. So you're never and I'm not going to say never because it depends on your, your chart placements and how you feel right your own confidence of where your ego is placed but for the most part with leos y'all ego stops y'all from trying new things and being experimental because y'all are afraid to fail or look dumb or not be cute in the process like literally so it's almost like maybe you're getting yourself out of that and you're saying i'm trying for something new and i love it and i'm and i'm honest and i'm gonna drop the burdens that come with me trying something new. And those burdens would be negative self-talk and telling myself I can't do it and thinking about everything that happened in the past. And clarify the Knight of Swords for Leo. This could also be someone coming to talk to you. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Who's this Knight of Swords? Heavy air sign. Page of Wands. I'm not taking this. It's too much. Clarify this Knight of Swords for Leo, please. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Leo. Nine of Cups. Happiness. Personal fulfillment. What else? What else with the Knight of Swords to the Nine of Cups? What else with the Knight of Swords to the Nine of Cups? Sorry, my cat just has to. I don't know why he's just in the mood to be mad noisy. He's literally on top of his water jug, like trying to roll it around. He's getting on my nerves, like tenfold. The Knight of Swords with the Nine of Cups right now is giving... Personal fulfillment. I almost feel like you succeed. Or you get information. This could be about career work. From a friend. Three of Cups. To be a part of a team. Clarify the Knight of Swords with the Knight of Cups, please. Give me one more. I keep saying one more and they keep giving me two. That's so annoying. The Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So it's almost where you felt left, where you felt left out. So you could be dealing with like anger because I keep getting very frustrated. Like he's a cat. He meows. I don't know why that makes me so mad. He's a cat. He uses his litter box. I just feel like he's being so annoying right now. So you may be really irritated by a Gemini, a Capricorn, an Aquarius, or just irritated. That's what I'm saying. Like you may be getting rid of those, that, the negativity. Like what's the point in being irritated when I can just like move forward? Um, nine of cups, five of pentacles, two of swords. So what I'm feeling here is like, You have personal fulfillment. There could be some kind of information coming towards you. Or you could be defending your personal happiness. However, this may leave other people feeling left out. Or you making this decision to for personal happiness is causing you to have to leave someone else out in the cold. There's a decision that you have to make regarding your own personal happiness. What cosmic insight message do we have for Leo? What's coming towards Leo in love? What's coming towards Leo in love? What cosmic insight message do we have for Leo? What's coming towards Leo in love? No. 
it's not the right time. So I feel like you should focus on yourself for real. Like, for, oh. it's just because things sound like they're breaking. Like, what is he doing? Um, I feel like it's time to focus on yourself. And I also feel like whatever this decision is, I do feel like someone from your past, again, with this past lover that you left out in the cold, they might be coming back towards you, but you found happiness. So I think the answer is no. Don't go back. All right, Leo, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye.